Cold allegations roar back to life as a wiretapping drama now threatens the political life of a California Democrat. Representative Jane Harmon, a leading congressional voice on intelligence and national security. Uh, Homeland Security correspondent Gene Meserve has the background on what's going on. It's a little complicated, Gene, but explain what the story is here. Well, Wolf, with her political reputation in peril, Congresswoman Jane Harmon is punching back hard. In a letter to Attorney General Eric Holder, Congresswoman Jane Harmon says she is outraged by reports that her conversations were secretly wiretapped. This abuse of power is outrageous, and I call on your department to release all transcripts and investigative material involving me in an unredacted form. And she says she will make it public. This could be career ending. Uh, she must be aggressive. She must fight it at every turn. She has to fight it on every front, legal and political, in the public forums and private forums. Sources say Harmon was overheard talking to an investigative target whose conversations were being legally intercepted. Congressional Quarterly and the New York Times report that Harmon discussed using her influence to reduce espionage-related charges against two officials of the American-Israeli Public Affairs Committee. In return, the person with whom she was speaking would lobby then-House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi to appoint Harmon chair of the House Intelligence Committee. Pelosi says there was no such lobbying. It isn't true. No. Uh, 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 Mrs. Harmon, uh, Congresswoman Harmon has many friends who advocate for her. And uh, to juxtapose that on any other uh, activities that are going on is just not, uh, just not correct. In her letter to Holder, Harmon says it is entirely appropriate to converse with advocacy organizations and denies contacting anyone to influence the APAC case. CQ also reports that after the intercept, the FBI tried to open an investigation of Harmon, but Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez pulled the plug because he wanted Harmon's help defending the controversial domestic warrantless wiretapping program, which she supported. Today, the former attorney general had no comment. The Justice Department says only that it is reviewing Harmon's letter. As for that deal that was allegedly discussed, Harmon did not get the Intelligence Committee chairmanship, and the trial of the APAC officials is slated for June. Wolf, back to you. All right, Jean, thanks very much. Let's talk to Jane Harmon, the congressman from California. She's here in the Situation Room. Thanks very much for coming in. Thank you, Wolf. Do you remember any such conversation with an Israeli or an Israeli <laughs> agent representing uh, APAC, the American Israel Public Affairs Committee? I have known about this for a few days, uh, and uh, I never had any idea that my government was wiretapping me at all. Uh, three anonymous sources have told uh, various media that this happened, and they're quoting snippets of allegedly taped conversation. So I don't know what these snippets mean. I don't know whether these uh, intercepts were legal. And that's why I asked Eric Holder to put it all out there because in public. Because the New York Times and Congressional Quarterly, they say there are actually transcripts of this recorded wiretap. Well, let's see if there are, or wiretaps, and let's see who else was wiretapped. I mean, lots of members of Congress talk to advocacy organizations. Uh, my phone's ringing off the hook in my office uh, from worried members who are asking whether I think it could have happened to them. I think this is an abuse of power. Because walk. they say at the end of that alleged conversation, for which they have some sort of transcript, uh, you were quoted as saying this conversation doesn't exist. I have no idea what I might have said in conversations with somebody or somebodies. These are American citizens we're talking about. Conversations that took place in America. I'm an Was American Was this a conversation citizen. you had with an American citizen or an Israeli citizen? I, don't, uh, I cannot imagine I had any conversation like this with, with anyone who was uh, not an American citizen. So is the NSA, uh, the National Security Agency, well, find, authorized to wiretap American citizens? It's, uh, the, the, if, if we're talking about the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, the original target has to be an, a foreigner outside the, the United States who's suspected of being a terrorist. And if that person talks to an American in America, th uh, then you can get uh, an individualized uh, a FISA warrant. But this is complicated. It's not clear who did what. Uh, it just the allegations are that it was about me and I you know I my comment is this is an abuse of power uh, I'm not worried about me. I have a bully pulpit. I'm on your show But you did endorse this. you did support those warrantless wiretap those intercepts when you were you know just reviewing it right? I su no, I support uh, if, if necessary, surveillance of people 
uh, in order to prevent attacks against us, but they have to, surveillance has to be done consistent with our laws and the Constitution. I didn't know, I did not know that uh, what the Bush administration was doing until it disclosed the program in 2005 did not follow the law, the Foreign Intelligence And this notion Act. that you were seeking uh, to convince Nancy Pelosi to allow you to become the chair uh, of the House Intelligence Committee, you went to a, a major uh, political donor of Nancy Pelosi uh, to threaten her that she would lose this support. You saw that allegation I, in the New York Times. I, 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 I think this is uh, just, just strange. Uh, I didn't need. I don't need to persuade uh, members of the uh, American Israel Political Action Committee uh, that I'm a friend of theirs. Why would I do some kind of deal? And anyway, let's have the transcripts out. Let's see what I said and said to whom. And I did not make any effort. This I remember clearly at all ever to influence our government at any level to uh, uh, reduce the sentences of alleged uh, uh, And you don't uh, remember ever ending a conversation with anyone by saying those words that were quoted in the New York Times today, this conversation doesn't exist. Uh, Wolf, this is four years ago. Uh, I have many conversations every day with adv advocacy groups. There's nothing wrong with doing this. I talk to APAC. I talk to many other groups. I, I frequently go to the Middle East, as you do. And so I, I want to see a full transcript of what I said if someone wiretapped me. And I want to know, by the way, if the wiretaps were legal. And I want to make sure that uh, members of Congress are not routinely wiretapped without uh, uh, their knowledge. Because uh, our Jean Reserve, you just saw the report, uh, she says based on the information she's getting it was a legal wiretap but, but we're trying to figure out who the other person was that you allegedly had this conversation right. with whether it was a u.s. citizen an israeli citizen then we don't know the answers and the to that. sources for these stories so far as i know are three undisclosed people former and present national security officials who are these people and what agendas do they have have and you had conversations with officials at the justice department the nsa the cia the white house about this about this uh, never never this uh, story, this old stale story, has been leaked twice, in 2006, right before the election, and it was discredited, and again this weekend. So, so what, what does Jane Harmon do now to try to clear her name? Because it was the banner, the, the lead story in the New York Times today. Well, uh, I frankly think my name is clear. My conscience is certainly clear. And uh, I think the question is about, does our government... Uh, or did our government uh, abuse the rights of American citizens, including members of Congress, uh, with legal or illegal wiretapping uh, about things that were not appropriate, and then selective leaking of the product of those leaks? And if there are purposes. these transcripts of this alleged conversation, you, know, you want the government to release those transcripts? I want the government to release those transcripts without redaction, without crossing out names, and then I will make them available to the public, and you and I can read together uh, what I may have said that was wiretapped four years ago and make sense of it or not. I mean, these were informal conversations with friends of mine. There is nothing wrong with talking to advocacy groups and constituency groups. And I do it every single day. And I'm proud to have a lot of friends, as uh, you just heard Speaker Pelosi say, in Washington and, I, and around the world. And uh, I, this is a, a strange event. It's, it's a kind of out-of-body experience. But I am, uh, I am offended by it. I think it's an abuse of power, and I want to make sure it's not happening to other people. If they hand over the transcripts to you and you want to release them, we'll be happy to read them together with you. Uh, I'll welcome that. Love being on this show. Thanks very Again. much, Congresswoman. Thank you, Congresswoman Jane Harmon of California.